What's good guys, it's Ben here. Um, so recently I experienced a power outage at uh, the house and the servers that I'm running um, all returned an error on the screen. Um, so I'm running Proxmox virtual environment on all of these servers and uh, this is the error that I'm getting. Essentially, uh, it's saying that uh, it can't find this volume group named PVE. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that today. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you the commands you can type in uh, in this situation to uh, get yourself out. <clears throat> so um, I should probably specify, um, there's a lot of different ways you can encounter this problem. Um, and the way that I encountered it is I changed the name of the PVE volume to something else. I did this through the GUI interface. So when the server went offline and it tried to reboot, it's looking for PVE, but I renamed it. So this isn't the case for everyone, but this is the cause for me. So I'm gonna show you all how to fix it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is uh, type LVM to drop into a shell where you can control the uh, volumes. Okay, so at this point, um, if, you're get, if you get lost, you can type help and view a list of all the commands um, available on the screen. I can't scroll up, so I'm not really too sure what to do there. But um, what I'm gonna do here is actually type um, VG scan, and it reads a list of all the physical volumes um, that it can find. And in this case, it says it found the volume B storage. That's the name. That's what I renamed my PVE volume to. I, I renamed it from PVE to B storage zero. So I have to rename it back to PVE and then restart the computer. Okay, so in order to do this, you're gonna type VG display and then the name of the storage or the volume. Okay, and at the bottom here, you're gonna see this UUID. And at the top, just to share that you're looking at the right um, volume. So here we're looking at B storage and there's the UUID. So now we're gonna do the command VG rename. And we're gonna type that exact UUID. Okay, so I'm just gonna check that I actually typed this correctly. Uh, yeah. I think I did. Cool, so now what I, I'm gonna do is uh, press enter and notice that I put PVE at the end here. So I'm renaming it from, I'm renaming this U, UUID to this. So here we go, boom. Okay, look at that. So our volume group was successfully renamed to PVE. So at this point, what we're gonna do is exit out of the shell and then we're gonna exit out of the init RAM FS. Okay, so it's trying to find um, the volume group PVE right now and hey guess what it found it because we just renamed it so now it's hopefully gonna um, boot properly oh and there we are we're back in our Proxmox virtual environment and everything booted properly so thanks guys um, there's actually a follow-up to this um, and I want to make you guys aware of a problem that you'll encounter um, when you log back onto your shell hey guys so now that we got Proxmox working on our server, we wanna go into the GUI and um, try to get it running there as well. However, there is a problem. Um, often you'll encounter this when you rename your volume. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to load this Kali uh, Linux VM that I have. Try to start it up and I get an error message and that error message is this. It says it could not open B storage because there is no such file or directory. So my entire virtual environment is not accessible because I changed the name of the volume that it was trying to access. So basically, um, what I'm gonna do is just change it back. So to do that, I'm gonna log into the shell of the server here you can see I'm logged into the system that we just fixed, the, the actual system we just repaired. Um, what I'm gonna do here is basically the same series of commands. I'm gonna do a VG scan, 
and here you can see that uh, it finds the volume group PVE. We're gonna rename that back to what it originally was. Mine was originally named B storage, so we're gonna rename it back to that. Uh, B storage zero to be specific. So in this case, we're gonna do VG display PVE. Um, luckily, we can now copy and paste the VG UUID. Um, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna type in the command VG rename paste the UUID, and then type the original name of the volume. So in my case, it was B storage zero. And then it renames the volume back to what it originally was. What's up, guys? Um, so there's an issue you should be aware of here, and that is if your power supply uh, disconnects again, uh, or if your computer somehow turns off, um, you're going to have to rename your volume back to PVE again and then log into your GUI console and rename it from PVE back to its original name again. So you don't wanna to have to repeat this process every time your power goes out. This is a temporary solution, uh, but it will help you access your data uh, in your VM if you need to get to it. So now I'm gonna show you what happens after we rename uh, our volume, which is what we just did. So after renaming the volume, we can go try to start our virtual machine again. Previously, when we tried to start this virtual machine, um, it gave us the error that um, it could not open B storage. Um, now, however, um, you can see that the status is actually okay. And if I refresh this page, you can see that the virtual machine is actually starting. And we're in. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please, you know, give it a like. Um, and if you like these videos in general, uh, please subscribe. Thanks.